What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the logical function equals. So, equals is a function that you can use in Power Automate that just compares two values. So we compare value 1 to value 2, if they both equal the same thing, then we, um, we evaluate that to true. If they do not equal the same thing, we evaluate that to false. So let's take a look at it. So I've got my manual trigger flow here. Um, this does have a text input, but we're not gonna use that today. Um, or we could use that. Um, we also have a compose action here. So we can um, go over to our expression uh, and we'll scroll down to logical functions and we've got equals. So equals just compares two values. So if value one equals value two, then return true. If they do not equal the same thing, then return false. So we can literally just use does two equal two. And click OK and test that. So we're going to ignore the uh, manual trigger text input for now and we can see that this evaluates true. So two does equal two. We can also update this and say, does two equal three? We'll update it, we'll just hover over. This is a quick tip, sometimes when you update uh, functions, they don't always update correctly. So you may just want to hover over, just recheck that query in the uh, in the, in the tooltip, um, make sure it's still, it has updated, and then you can retest it. So we'll test again, test, uh, run the flow, and here we go, false. So two doesn't equal three. But we can do the similar sort of thing in uh, actually using the manual trigger. So what we will do is we will say does, uh, and then we will, does the manual input trigger uh, equal three? So this one, um, I don't know if you hover over it, this is going to say, does whatever we put in this input box equal the number three? We'll click test. Uh, I'll perform the test. We'll type the number three in here, run the flow, and say it's false. So it doesn't equal three. So, um, <coughs> so yeah, we can we can test all these things out and see um, see how it, how it works. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's why. So when I've put this in here, so yeah, that should have evaluated to true, but what I didn't realize is this, when I put this in, this is a string, and what I'm actually uh, wanting to return is a number. So if I add another uh, field, and I actually add a number field in, uh, and what I can do is I can change this trigger here to be uh, a number. So, um, so that's a very, very important thing about triggers like this, is that just because you write the number three does not mean it's actually a number and how it interprets it uh, is very different to how it's written. So uh, this new one uh, does not update body trigger. So we are on check to see whether it's actually a number. So flow knows that this is a number field and will interp interpret it as a number. Previously, when it's a text input, it interpreted it as a string, not as a number, and that did not equal the number that we've already specified in this formula. So let's test that again. We'll say, I'll perform the trigger action, choose a number, and I'll choose the number three this time, and this time it should return a, a true value. True, there we go. So that's, again, another very important lesson I found out on the fly um, that, or I remember on the fly, is that you need to uh, make sure you have the right types to equal the same thing. If they're not the same types, then you are going to have an issue. So you may need to convert types from type string to type number or the other way around so that you can get them to equal the same thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please like and please share it with your friends. Uh, if you use this at the moment, I always like to know what you use these functions for, so let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and I hope to see you next time.